Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome to Simple Nikwa. So for today's video, I decided to bring out the sewing machine again and I am going to make something for you guys again. It's really easy and simple and only takes 30 minutes to do it. Anybody can do it. It's very, very easy and fun. So if you're excited to make this little object with me or see this tutorial how to make it, go ahead, sit back, relax, and continue watching. But if you haven't already and if you're new here, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel like why not I do all kinds of things on this channel so you're gonna miss out if you don't subscribe but other than that like this video as well and let's get started with this video so for today's video we're going to sew this little pouch here today and I found the instructions for this little pouch here that I'm going to make today for you guys on this website here and it will be down in the description box below so you can go check that out like for the word description as well if you want to sew this little bag you can use my video for a visual instructions on how to do this so like I said I leave that down below in the description box go ahead and check that out so let's get started so the things you need for this project is two different types of design fabric and a fabric for the line you also need a 7 inch zipper, you need coordinating thread that will go along with all your design of fabric. This is optional but I think this really like brought this little pouch back to life and I put like a decorative charm onto the zipper so you're definitely going to need a decorative charm. And I also got these finishings so I can make my own little decorative charm because I couldn't find any that was already like with a hook already on them so I bought hooks so I can make my decorative charm. So for step one, you have to cut the fabric. So for this particular design on line, you have two different fabrics for the outside layer of the pouch and then a lining fabric in the inside. So for all the fabrics, you're gonna want to cut two pieces. So for the red plaid one, that's gonna be like the top section of my outer layer of the pouch. You cut out two pieces and I did eight by three and a half, so I had that a half seam allowance. And then on the green piece, is which is going to be like a bottom part of the outer panel of the pouch. And I did that size by 8 by 2 and a half. And then for my lining, I did a white fabric. And I did that as a whole 8 by 5. For step two, you're going to want to place one of the outside upper panels, which is the plaid one that I have, and then one of the second outsider panels, which for the lower half, which is the green, and you're going to want to place the green face down on the upper piece and then lining up the top edge of the lower piece with the bottom edge of the top piece. Then you can pin them, if not you can just go ahead and put that in the sewing machine and do a half an inch seam allowance. Then once you have that all sewn up, you're going to want to press the seams open, that nice press crisp seams open and then you're going to want to have this decorative stitch on top here. So you want to do a top stitch of a 1 8 inch above and atop that seam and you want to repeat all these beginning steps for the other side of the panel. And it will look like this. So you have two of the same thing. And you can trust me baby we got everything. The next step, step four, you want to place one of the inside lining pieces face up. And then you want to line one of the long edges of the zipper with the top edge of the fabric piece. Then you want to place one of the simple outside panel pieces down on the lining piece along the top edge of the outside panel with the top edge of the lining in the zipper. 
Then you want to pin through all the layers to secure it. And then you want to use a zipper foot and stitch along the, all the layers about an eighth inch away from the edge of the zipper teeth. <laughs> You want to put down the remaining lining face up on the work surface and then you want to line the unstitched side of the zipper with the top edge of the lining piece and make sure the lining pieces have the right sides facing and it's more easier with this white fabric because the both sides are the same. Then you want to place the second outside panel face down on top of the layers. Align the top edge of the outer panel with the top edge of the zipper and bottom lining piece. Pin through all the layers and use that zipper foot again to make that 1 8 seam from the zipper teeth. Then you have a piece like this, lovely. And for step six, you wanna fold that outer panels down away from the zipper so the wrong sides of each of the outer and the lining pieces are matching and all the edges are aligned. And then you want to press and then you wanna to top stitch an eighth inch away from the edge of each seam that goes along on top of where the zipper is so it has that nice top stitch seam on top of the zipper then you want to unzip the zipper about two-thirds of the way down and then you want to pinch the center seam together so that the zipper teeth are tucked inside the lining and hopefully the videos I have will capture all of that and then fold all the pieces so that outer panels are right sides facing and the lining panels are right sides facing and then making sure all the outer edges and the corners are aligned and then you want to pin and then you want to use a one-fourth seam allowance and then you want to stitch all the way around those pin panels but leaving a three inch opening at the bottom edge of the lining piece Once you have that all sewn up, you want to clip the edges of the four corners so when you fold it the right side, it will have that nice crisp point. Then for step eight, you want to turn the piece right side out through the opening of the lining. That's why we had kept that opening. Then you want to press the piece flat. And then you want to pull that lining back out and you want to stitch the opening closed and you just do a regular stitch right at the edge of that little opening and then the last step is to make your decorative charm and so you can buy our a charm that has like a little clip that you can just clip around to the zipper you done you do and it's all done and good but with mine i had to like make it a little bit I found these little cute like little button things like this right here at Walmart and I just clipped them on a clip like this that you find like on a necklace and then I just clipped it onto the zipper here and that will be my decorative charm. <laughs> So you do you do with your decorative charm but after that you are done with your pouch and you should have something like this I thought this pouch was so easy to do and it took me like 30 minutes to do minus like me filming it it's really fast and easy and it's really cute you can put just anything in this bag you can put it in your bigger bag you can use this for traveling and to put things in whatever your heart desire to put this things in I just love this little bag and I think it's really cute and something very easy to make if you want and have a desire to sew something up this is something definitely anybody can do with a sewing machine so if you are going to try this little project out go down below and give this video a like I would love to know who would want to make this little pouch as well and if you like this video live like as well but if you haven't from the beginning go ahead and subscribe down below as well but other than that thank you so much for watching go make you a pouch like this is so cute why not make one yourself and try this out is this a cool little project you can do on the days that you have nothing else to do so why not so thank you so much for watching and making this far into the video but i'll catch you back next week with something awesome and cool bye